What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving right into it. Um, I've had this, oof, it is windy out here. Sorry if you can't hear me. All right, sorry about that. We had to jump in the Jeep because the wind is pretty bad outside. I don't even know if the audio would be uh, usable. So. Like I was saying, welcome back to the channel guys. If you have not been here before, please get down there, hit subscribe. Uh, today we have an install uh, I've been meaning to do for a week now. And of course, this is what you guys all came here for. The Jeep JL Pedal Command, Pedal Commander. If you guys are not familiar with Pedal Commander, they are the leading brand in throttle control. Uh, so this little guy here plugs directly into, come on, focus. Uh, this plugs directly into the top of your throttle body, which, you know, your your gas pedal, uh, which allows you for quicker response uh, from your gas pedal. Now, this isn't only for the JLU. Uh, obviously, Pedal Commander has pretty much every single make and model of any car. I think they said up like 95 or more percent uh, of the manufacturers that are out today, they actually have pedal commanders for. So even if you don't have a Wrangler, if you have a Ford, a Chevy, uh, GMC, any other type of vehicle at all, and you want a little bit more uh, throttle response uh, from your vehicle, say, you, you know, you just want quicker response, you know, uh, in emerging traffic. And if you're planning to actually tune your car or race or anything like that, uh, these will come in handy. These actually work with tunes. This is not a tune. Uh, so get, I'm gonna make sure uh, everybody gets that straight. This is not a tuner. This is just a throttle controller. So before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and install it, show you guys how quick and simple it is. Uh, and then we'll go through the settings, talk a little bit more about that, uh, and then kind of do a, a test drive and uh, a little bit of more of a review of each of the settings. All right, so essentially in the box, uh, what you're gonna get is a sticker, a little pamphlet here uh, explaining uh, the different settings and modes uh, and how to install and stuff like that. You have some double-sided tape here for the back of the harness, uh, and this just clips right in, which is which is kind of nice because you can plug this, uh, you can see it's clipped around here. Uh, you can put this harness anywhere, so you can take this pedal commander on and off and just clip it in and out. This might look a little confusing to you guys, like, wait, which one's my gas pedal? But uh, yeah, I, I have a manual, so yeah, that's why you see three pedals. Uh, up here above the gas pedal, you can see this is the clip that we need to take out. All it does is uh, this red clip slides out, uh, and then you should be able to plug this into the original slot and then the original harness into this side and uh, you're good to go it's just a t-harness so if i can get my hand up here oh, get this harness undone and there it is now all we have to do is connect these so there's that one and then the pedal commander harness goes right in the original spot and then push in. That's it, that's all you need. So uh, what we're gonna do now, just take this wire, shove it all on the carpet along the side here. We'll worry about zip tying that later. Yeah, we'll just run it, we'll just run it to here for right now. That's all I need. Uh, I got Ryan with me, so he's filming. So he'll be able to uh, show you guys uh, what it's like from the passenger seat. There's no batteries with this thing. Obviously it's a T harness, so it runs off the power of your vehicle. So you don't have to worry about it draining your battery like everybody worries about you know, anything draining their battery. But you can see when I started up, first time. So city must be like the, the factory. Yeah, like but setting. that's no fun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on four, and I mean, wait, how do I do this? Shit, we're gonna... Hold on, Hodor. Oh, this is how you do it. We're gonna put this on sport. Wait, I still have my... And we're gonna fully send it all the way four plus. So here we go. I'm not, I'm not in reverse. So, let's see if we can even drive this, uh, obviously. <clears throat> we're on full load here. Oh my god. <laughs> it like felt normal for a second and then that, that rev you felt, that was it changing. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
can't even drive. He can't even drive. Oh, let me try in third gear. <laughs> oh my god, that's just gonna roast my clutch. Alright, so Sport Plus in four is definitely not recommended. Burn them. For Oh my god, not like it's not like it's adding any horsepower. It's not like my car's faster, it's just more the gas is more responsive. Like I'm not even touching and my foot is like literally resting on the pedal. You can hear it, it sounds so weird. It's like if I were to just have my foot to the pedal all the way like the, the whole time. Like it doesn't like gradually go. It just it's just full blast or nothing. Like this is like That was the slow the slowest I could let off the clutch. And throttle the, like at the same time. And the pedal doesn't move far at all. But well, that's it, what it is. It's a throttle response. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't add anything to like yeah. after after you push past that initial response. I said it's not going to add horsepower, but it, it's your well, throttle response. So it's going to make you know you more, don't have to push the pedal as hard to get the same amount of throttle. More, yeah, it's more instant. Instant. The same amount of power, just faster. Oh, we have to hold it. Apparently, having it in eco, you're um, from their website. They say you can save up to twenty percent in fuel. Hmm. Well, I'd be interested to see that. Yeah. Let's see how this one drives. Feels the same. Uh, wait. Feels the same as stock or better? It is a little bit slower than than. Uh, and stock. You have to push down a little bit further. Hmm. Yeah. Because I could hear, like, when it revs like that, it's like almost a, a second after. Like, if it's like throttle, like, right. I'm sure you could feel it better in an automatic because I'm controlling my throttle or my clutch. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, he's, okay. he's learning, guys. He's learning how to drive steak. <laughs> when you go from Eco to Sport Plus, okay, there's where you definitely feel the difference. I could probably get it to do a burnout. I mean, not like a very long one, but like a decently okay one. <laughs> like you're giving it too much gas. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really that bad, though. Holy shit! I could see in like an automatic this thing being like really fun. I mean, now that it's not fun in a manual, it's just in the automatic because you're not worrying about your clutch. You could just hit it and go. So these new pedal commanders, uh, you can get them in Bluetooth, which is kind of neat because you can just hide this whole thing up behind your dash and you can do it from your phone. So uh, if we add a pedal commander here, so you're just gonna type in the code on the back of your pedal commander, and uh, and then I guess you can name it. I'll just name it Jeep, save, and then uh, there we go. It already says uh, we're in Sport Plus on uh, Plus 3. So this is actually kind of neat. It's a better display. I mean, this is a good display for just like an actual little module. Uh, it's easy, to, quick to change. Oh, look how fast it changes on the Bluetooth too. Like if I change it on here, you can see it's it's pretty quick to show you. Um, but this is a nice display just for the uh, for the pedal commander. I mean, it's easy to read. It's the lights are bright. You can tell you know what you're in. Uh, but on this, it's obviously you you know you're gonna have your phone up on you know. A, phone carrier or whatever and uh, you know this would be just as easy you would get eco modes bounce speed heavy decrease on here if you want to change to eco mode you have to hold the pedal star pedal commander star for three seconds and it'll change uh, on here it'll tell you like your you know your response is 
dramatically going to decrease. So that's what that warning was. But uh, any other one, it just takes a second and it'll change for you. But you can see, you can change it from in here. You can even do, you know, plus or minus up to four. So you have eight settings within the four. So you all in all, you have 32 settings uh, for the pedal commander. But it's definitely ni nice to have the Bluetooth option because then you could just have your phone mounted up here, have this back behind your dash. You never even get to see it. And then, you know, just change your settings from up in here. So we'll just go Sport Plus, we'll go Sport. Let's go Sport Plus, let's go Sport Plus 3. And then you can even shut it off and on from in here, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna give you guys a longer review uh, after I have more experience with it. Uh, this was just kind of like an unboxing and first impression thing. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate, uh, Sport Plus, uh, Plus 4, wow. That is, the, I mean, the throttle, I'm like barely even hitting it and it is just going like it's just immediately and the eco mode you'll definitely feel how much more sluggish it is uh it's definitely better for me because i know on the manual transmission at least that when i was switching gears it felt a lot smoother because um uh, it you know feathering the, the the clutch and the gas pedal uh, i could feel it a lot better in the clutch and the gas pedal uh, with the Sport Plus, it was just so touchy that I couldn't even, you know, let off the clutch fast enough. First impressions, uh, simplest install, couldn't be easier. Uh, 32 settings, so you guys can customize it, you know, completely to the way that you uh, like to drive or the response time uh, and the throttle that you like. Uh, and I think it works very, very well. And three, the fact that uh, you can do Bluetooth and you can just tuck up the module behind your dash so that way you don't have to like stare at it or, you know, fiddle with it. You can just use, you know, Bluetooth through your phone and the app works, you know, very, very smoothly and it works very fast, uh, which is very nice. Um, so I'm very, very impressed uh, so far. But again, I'm going to give it like a week or two. Uh, give you guys like a full kind of in-depth review of, you know, kind of each one and uh, let you know what settings I kind of run my Jeep at and uh, what's best for, you know, just putts around town or what's best for, you know, driving on the highway. Uh, don't recommend doing both at the exact same time uh, and switching it that many times, uh, especially while you're driving, uh, try and come to a stop or uh, in a parking lot or something, give it, you know, a moment to reset. Um, and then, you know, continue on. Uh, you're not really supposed to switch in on the fly like we were doing. Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.